Hello guys, welcome to another session. In this session, we are going to look into logical not operators. So let's jump into the Visual Studio Code to understand this topic. So we are into the Visual Studio Code and we are going to use the same example which we have used in our last session. So prior to understanding the not logical operator, we have to understand that what actually the symbol we use to represent the not logical operator. So not logical operator is represented by exclamation mark. So you need to use this exclamation mark. And what is the purpose of this not operator? So we have to understand that. So not operator is used to negate any of the conditions. So what it means? So it means that if you are having any variable, for example, let a equal to true and you want to make it false. So what you need to do, you need to tell that console.log not a. So it means that whatever the value a contains, that is a Boolean variable that should be converted to opposite of true that is false and how we can achieve this thing we will use the not operator this is the not logical operator now the question over here is why do we actually use this not logical operator so to answer your question i would tell that this comes very handy whenever we are designing any toggle logic where we have to design on and off button so that we can check the current status and if anybody is clicking on the button, so we will take the current status, convert it into the opposite of the current status. So to understand it, let's look into the output. So here what we did, we have provided a true value. But when we use this exclamation mark, that is a not logical operator in front of A. So that means I am negating this value and it will print opposite of this. So that means it will print false. So let's look into the output. So as I said, it printed the false value. So this comes very handy whenever we want to design toggle option. Now we understand that not logical operator. What we are going to do, we are going to use into this program to redesign some different logic. So first let's, so first let's look into the output. So currently you will see that apple, peach, orange, grapes, banana. So oranges and grapes are in upper case and peach and banana is in a smaller case. But what I am going to do, I am going to use a not logical operator in one of the condition and because of that, what will happen? Everything is in a smaller case. Only apple is going to be converted into the upper case. So let's do that. So what I am going to do, I am going to use a not logical operator. Whatever the value which is being returned in this condition, I'm negating it so, so see here what will happen because of this negation so let's look into the output so it has changed the entire meaning of the program this was the earlier output and this is the current output you will find that apple is the only spelling which is converted to uppercase and remaining is in a smaller case so this is one of the example I can give you apart from that we can use in our application for negating the current state if a state contains true or false value or say boolean value so on this note I am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care